For decades, we've stared into the cosmic abyss, hoping, guessing, imagining, searching not just for planets or stars, but for something different, something impossible. We've sent our machines, Voyager, Hubble, and now the James Webb Space Telescope, to slice through the darkness of space and expose its deepest secrets. But what Webb just uncovered may not be a secret. It may be a message, and even worse, it might be alive. At first, Three Atlas looked like just another interstellar traveler, a ghostly rock flung across the void. But it wasn't just glowing. It was pulsing, not randomly, but with chilling precision, like a heartbeat, a signature. And what came next wasn't just a mystery. It was a warning. Stay with me until the end, because if this discovery is what some scientists believe it is, then we're not alone. And we never have been. The James Webb Space Telescope was designed to look further than any human eye ever could, across galaxies, into the birthplaces of stars, and beyond the edge of time itself. But in a routine sweep of deep space, it locked onto something moving unnaturally, a speck of light where there should have been nothing. This was Three Atlas, the third confirmed interstellar object to pass through our solar system. But unlike Umwamwa or Borisov, this one wasn't silent. It was shouting. At first, astronomers thought it was just highly reflective, like a comet coated in ice. But Webb's infrared sensors revealed something far stranger. The object was not reflecting heat from the sun. It was producing it, an internal thermal signature centralized and pulsing faintly. This was not the signature of a rock. It was the signature of something active. As teams at NASA and ESA began analyzing the data, one pattern kept resurfacing. A rhythmic thermal pulse coming from deep inside Three Atlas. Natural objects don't do this. Comets emit heat as they sublimate, releasing gas and dust in unpredictable bursts. But this pulse, it was consistent, deliberate, like a machine. When the Webb team cross-referenced the readings with known astrophysical phenomena, pulsars, neutron stars, quasars, none matched. Then came the photometric data. The light spectrum wasn't scattered. It was focused. Narrow bands of energy emitted in specific wavelengths, the kind we use in communication, the kind we design for satellites, spacecraft, and lasers. And that's when the whispers started. This wasn't a signal we were receiving. It might be one we had just interrupted. Data scientists began filtering the signal through Fourier transforms, searching for patterns. And hidden beneath what looked like cosmic static was a terrifying revelation, a pulse not random, not natural, but structured. The intervals were too precise, like a whisper coded in chaos. Some thought it was a beacon. Others believed it was telemetry, data being sent back to somewhere else. And the worst part, the pulse never changed. Since the first moment Webb recorded it, the signal had remained absolutely constant, not affected by radiation, movement or time. This wasn't the voice of a dying star or a rogue planet. It was something that wanted to be heard, or maybe something that wanted to listen. Then, without warning, everything changed. Three Atlas erupted in a burst of light, its brightness spiking by 40% in less than two minutes. No natural object flares with that kind of symmetry. Thermal readings showed the object's entire body heating up, like a machine powering on. And then its trajectory shifted by fractions of a degree at first. Then, with undeniable intention, Three Atlas corrected its path. It was no longer following the passive arc of gravity. It was aiming not directly at Earth, but near it, aligned with the inner planets, slipping just inside our orbital path. A maneuver so precise, so unnatural, it couldn't be dismissed. Something inside Three Atlas had woken up, and it was moving. After the trajectory shift, a team at the European Southern Observatory pushed the analysis further. Using spectral decomposition algorithms designed to detect organic molecules in exoplanets, they filtered the emissions from Three Atlas again, and found something no one expected. Within the energy signatures were fluctuations eerily similar to biological rhythms. Not DNA, not proteins, but something more fundamental. Resonance frequencies consistent with cellular behavior. In other words, the light coming from three atlas didn't just reflect energy. It fluctuated in ways that resemble living tissue. This wasn't some asteroid accidentally mimicking life. This was a signal encoded in light behaving like a living system and the implications are beyond comprehension. If the object is partly biological, it would mean one of two things. Either it's alive or it's carrying something that is, just when excitement turned to fear, another anomaly emerged. 
power levels, if we can call them that, suddenly dropped. The thermal readings flattened, the emissions dimmed, and the spectral pulses lost their intensity. But the object didn't slow down. It didn't drift. It kept moving with chilling precision, like a machine switching into stealth mode. Some scientists described it as a heartbeat, pausing, holding its breath. Was it hiding from us? Was it reacting to our attention? One unsettling possibility began to circulate. What if we were not the first to observe it? What if this is its defensive state? What if every time a civilization gets close to understanding it, it shuts down? Whatever the case, the drop in energy didn't calm anyone. In fact, it terrified them more because a silent, cold, invisible probe is far more dangerous than one that makes noise. Then something happened much closer to home. Monitors at the South Atlantic Anomaly, Earth's weakest magnetic region, began detecting ripples, not solar flares, not gamma bursts, but localized electromagnetic pulses timed with Atlas's trajectory adjustments. As the object passed through the outer heliosphere, our planet reacted. Subtle shifts in our magnetic envelope echoed the pulses coming from the interstellar object. Physicists scrambled to explain it. No comet or asteroid has ever triggered Earth's magnetosphere from this distance. No naturally occurring body should be capable of generating synced electromagnetic responses. The only logical conclusion, we are connected. Atlas's emissions are affecting our world and perhaps communicating with it. At this point, a group of independent researchers put forth a theory too outrageous for mainstream science, but too compelling to ignore. They proposed that 3 Atlas was not just a spacecraft, not just a living probe, but a consciously designed intelligence. Not a machine piloted by something, not a drone deployed by someone, but the entity itself. A form of artificial or even biological intelligence born not in a lab, but in the depths of interstellar evolution. This theory suggests that in other parts of the galaxy, consciousness may not evolve in carbon and neurons, but in plasma, electromagnetic fields, and engineered matter. And if that's true, then Atlas is not a visitor. It is an ambassador of a type of life we've never imagined. A life that moves across galaxies, hides in comets, and waits patiently until a civilization is advanced enough to recognize its presence. And guess what? We just did. As global observatories recalibrated their instruments to follow 3 Atlas with maximum precision, a disturbing new measurement emerged. Gravitational lensing effects around the object weren't matching its estimated mass. In fact, the curvature it created in surrounding space implied the presence of something much denser, or more precisely, something capable of manipulating gravity fields. This broke every model astrophysicists rely on to predict motion and interaction between celestial bodies. The only time we've seen anything remotely similar is around black holes. But 3 Atlas isn't a collapsed star. It's smaller than a moon. So how is it warping space around itself? Some theorists proposed it was using localized gravity control, not as propulsion, but as a navigation system, like a submarine adjusting ballast to glide silently through an alien ocean. This would mean we're not just dealing with advanced engineering, we're dealing with physics that has been conquered and mastered, not studied. Then came what many now consider the most damning evidence of all. A small fragment trailing behind three Atlas broke off and began tumbling through space. At first it was dismissed as standard comet debris. But when the Webb telescope locked onto it and analyzed its structure, the data froze the team in disbelief. This fragment wasn't irregular or organic. It was geometrically perfect. Smooth, flat surfaces, right angles, symmetry, the kind of structure that only intelligent fabrication can produce. And even more chilling, it emitted no detectable temperature, completely inert, no radiation, no heat. It absorbed light, but never returned a trace. It was almost as if it was watching, but invisible to itself. And its composition, unknown alloys with atomic signatures not found anywhere on Earth or in known meteorite samples. This wasn't space dust. This was a part of something engineered, Astronomers at the Monarch Observatory in Hawaii began tracking three Atlas's spin behavior. Like many elongated space bodies, it rotated but not randomly. Instead, the rotational pattern revealed something bizarre. Timed intervals that matched certain mathematical constants, pi, the golden ratio, and even prime number sequences. It was as if the spin itself was a broadcast, a language of motion, a kind of cosmic Morse code waiting to be translated. 
Some now believe this rotation is intentional, that it's not spinning due to momentum, but performing an act, a ritual of recognition, as if it's repeating a message over and over.